They should be getting ready to compete, but no one's quite sure when the next race will be. UK racing is in lockdown after an outbreak of equine flu. At his base in the English Midlands, Mick Appleby is trying to ensure the horses he trains remain virus free. So they basically shut the yard down, so we're not allowing anybody, any outside people in, including the owners, so they explain the situation to them so they all understand. Uh, so just minimising the risk of anybody bringing the disease into the yard. So no horses are allowed to leave the yard. Uh, leave, well, leave the property, can still come up the gallops, but not leaving the property and no new horses are allowed in. Six races were due to take place at Southall in central England on Friday, but the blanket ban to try to contain the virus meant they couldn't go ahead. And every day lost on the track results in a race course, losing thousands of dollars in income. This course should be the hive of activity with the stands full and the horses thundering down the track to the finish line. Instead, it is empty. The shutdown was sparked when three vaccinated horses from a yard tested positive for equine flu. It is airborne, rarely fatal, but it is highly contagious. Vets have been carrying out tests at racing yards up and down the country to establish if the outbreak has spread. It makes a horse feel quite rubbish for quite a while. So they usually present with their sort of their dry hacking cough. Um, they feel quite rubbish for you know up to a few months, um, and that can really take it out of training, and particularly the, the race horse. You know that really needs to be on top of their training. Horse racing in the UK is highly regulated with regards to welfare and biosecurity, and it is hugely lucrative, worth nearly four and a half billion dollars to the UK economy every year. Getting back on track then, in time for the season's biggest races quickly, is in everyone's interests. Emma Hayward, Al Jazeera, in central England.